What's going on, everybody? Still not at home. I should be by the end of the week, but for now, we need to talk about the Alliance roadmap because it's kind of bananas, man. First off, a lot of changes happening right now. Look at the game, man. The whole UI, it's different. It's actually pretty cool. If we click on, uh, you see back issues down there in the bottom next to my head? If we tap on that, it takes us to only the back issues. Ah, finally, right? Seems like the most obvious thing in the world just to stick these in their own category. But I guess Kabam, they wanted to wait until they redid the whole UI here. And I gotta say, it looks good. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, but uh, uh, it's, it's pretty well laid out, I gotta say. Uh, in addition, in addition to that, something that is already live is in the profile here. You can click on the Edit Alliance Champions page, and now you have little tabs at the top of the screen there for War Attackers, War Defenders, Alliance Quest Champions, and these are actually the champions that I use. I did, yeah, I, I had to manually add them, of course. It didn't happen automatically, but uh, <laughs> yeah, these are actually some of the champions that I use. Um, figured it, I, I'd update that while I could. And one last thing that is also currently live that is talked about in the roadmap, uh, if we click on members here, there's actually different battle group assignments now where it's going to prevent you from accidentally joining the wrong battle group. I think you still have control over it if need be for some reason, but um, you're actually assigned and there'll be like a little prompt that if you try to join the wrong battle group, it'll be like, hey, dummy, that's the wrong group. So uh, just some pretty nice uh, quality of life changes and they said this is basically just the start um, because in the future there's going to be path assignments there's going to be uh, defender placements we don't know exactly how that stuff's going to look but uh, they did talk about that and by the way I, you know I just have a, a list on my phone here of a bunch of uh, some of the major points if you want to see it in all the detail it's like a 10 page thing uh, that Kabam uh, is posting so um, yeah if you want to see the details check that out but for now I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of some of the more uh, important things I would say so yeah more more cool stuff like that coming to alliances uh, that's gonna you know just kind of build upon some of these features that we're already seeing in game and they've had plans for this stuff for a long time by the sounds of it okay so speaking of AQ let's talk a little bit more about alliance quest then huh um, so in the future, right now, you, you can't see what's what's coming before uh, the Alliance Quest actually starts, um, but you will be able to kind of see and, and, and plan that stuff out ahead of time, which will be especially helpful for Map 7 since there are different variations of it, um, and knowing, <laughs> knowing which variation you're playing before it actually starts uh, happens to be a really helpful thing. So in the future, that'll be a thing. Uh, and then here's the big news for Alliance Quest, and this is happening real soon. This is, uh, I probably should have started with this, honestly. This is happening uh, in July, so next month here. Uh, at some point, hopefully, fingers crossed, the next AQ cycle, um, there's going to be 45-minute AQ timers. That's permanent. That's for every single... Uh, you know, map for Alliance Quest. You'll now have a six energy cap as well, and you're going to start with four energy. So, just really nice overall. It's going to just smooth out the whole Alliance Quest process. And hey, if you get stuck doing something, it's not going to be in, at the end of the world. You're going to feel less pressure to, uh, you know, have to really be on top of your energy and everything like that. Hopefully, people don't get uh, too lax and they don't fall behind in AQ because that's kind of annoying as well. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, really nice changes overall. 45-minute timers. Uh, all right, so as far as the higher-level maps go, I think this is only for maps 6 and 7. They're going to have fewer links. I don't think they mentioned for uh, for lower-level maps, but for maps 6 and 7, fewer links, especially in the, uh, the early parts of the map. Uh, map 7, the Mesmerized lane, which was one of the most annoying lanes, is being replaced with Mixmaster. Mixmaster, I think that's the node where you have to do, like, alternating attacks. Otherwise, you'll miss, but that's really not that big of a deal. Vivified used to be a 200% increased power gain. Now it's being adjusted to only a 100% increased power gain. And the Can't Stop, Won't Stop node is being adjusted as well, but they didn't give a whole lot of details on that one. Uh, there's going to be a new AQ post uh, you know, mid-season update that's coming out tomorrow. I'm sure we're going to hear some more about that stuff um, for, the, for the remainder of this season of AQ, uh, soon at least. Oh, here's something else that's really cool about the future of AQ, too. If you're actually in uh, the map, and it's not, not going to be able to show it here because I'm already completed, but if you accidentally click on the wrong path, there's going to be an undo button. Ah, oh, 
Finally, it feels like that should have been added ages ago. Uh, I'm so happy that uh, that is something that's going to be coming to the game. We don't know. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know if they gave a date on that one. So some of the things uh, I should say. Some of the things they do give kind of like a you know a, a timeline for, and some things they don't. I can't remember if there was a timeline for that one, but it is confirmed that is something that uh, will be added uh, sometime in the near-ish future whether that's a couple months from now or what but uh all right moving on they're going to rework the link nodes uh entirely as well in the future uh they're they they're still designing it but they're saying uh instead of you know just being this annoying roadblock maybe in the future it'll do something like give buffs if you choose to to, to go through a link or take down a link i don't know i don't know how it's going to work but it's pretty cool and i can kind of visualize it based off of how incursions works where you know you kind of get a a, a choice where you can maybe like just take down the linked node or you can uh, you know, or, or choose not to, to swap by your champion, things like that, or at the end of the incursions, you know, like heal up your champions or, or get a hack. I don't think that's exactly how it's going to work for Alliance Quest. All I'm saying is I can kind of visualize how something like that uh, could be adapted to Alliance Quest just in a, in a different way course so that'll be kind of cool um they also talk about in the future they want alliance quest to be more about seasonal unique experiences uh and and be more of a challenge for alliances to kind of work together rather than just being uh, a place to compete against other alliances um so that's pretty cool um then there's something kind of interesting here where they say it's a they want to focus on custom content creation in a choose-your-own-adventure kind of way. And I and that, that sounds pretty cool, but uh, I'm going to get to something about Alliance War later that kind of worries me at the same time. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that in, in just a minute, but it sounds kind of cool, man, like a choose-your-own-adventure. I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, we're, we're seeing, I guess, the early stages of that right now, the, the, the very early stages, hopefully. Hopefully it's going to be something totally different than this, actually. But the way that uh, Alliances are able to pick... Uh, like extra nodes to take on for additional challenge. Um, I think they're going to have more of this, actually, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping for the choose-your-own-adventure type of feel that they're, they're going for. I'm hoping it's going to be something uh, a little different than that, but, you know, we'll see. Um, then they also mentioned raid bosses, which is like, uh, what? Excuse me? I don't know if any of you guys played uh, MMOs before where they have these raid bosses where... Let's say, let's say in like an MMO, you're playing as one character or something like that, right? And you have, you know, you have the ability to group up with a few other people and, you know, fight alongside them and stuff like that. And then you have these raid bosses, which could be anywhere from, you know, like 10 to 100 people all fighting together to take down a boss or something like that. I, I don't know how in the world that would possibly work in uh, MCOC. So I'm guessing it's something totally different. Um, you know, they, they're not really giving out too many details uh, about it, other than they say it's a, um, you know, massive scale battles. It's throwing out some kind of, uh, <laughs> some, some little teasers here. Massive scale battles. Uh, and then they said unique roles and new ways to play as an alliance. And... That part I can kind of see. The, the the massive scale battles is very interesting to me. I don't know how that's going to work. I feel like the game still has to be kind of a one-on-one -on -one setup, but maybe it's not going to be possible for one person to do all the work or something like that, uh, even though on everyone's screen it'll still look like a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. But then the unique roles and new ways to play as an alliance, that I can actually see. I can see a more supportive type role uh, being added, where, you know, right now... Yeah, characters they can they can heal, for example, right? Certain characters have healing abilities. Like where is he? There we go. There's my boy, uh, King Groot. This guy can actually heal himself, right? So I don't know. Maybe they're gonna add ways to heal each other in the future. Um, at one point, they did have the ability to gift items in Alliance War and Alliance Quest, and honestly, that was kind of cool, but. Uh, the problem is that gifting became something that was abusable and exploitable and there was fraud <laughs> involved and botting and it created all these different situations. So I don't, maybe they're looking to get back to that in a more gameplay focused way rather than 
hey, somebody's going to be stealing credit card info to do this kind of way. I don't know, man. Uh, but it's exciting, man. The fact that they're even they they even want to announce uh, raid bosses means that they're probably for, far enough along in development. Um, that maybe they don't have it looking good, maybe it's not presentable to show, but they probably have enough laid out that they could say, oh, yeah, this will actually be really fun. If we can, you know, spend more time working on this, this will be really cool. And hopefully it's not going to be like a bases scenario where um, <laughs> they announced bases, or it was in-game, it was teased in-game, right? Coming soon, bases. And then they were like, actually, no, never mind. Hopefully it's not like that, man, because it sounds like it could actually be really cool if if they get all the details worked out so i'm excited to see more about what raid bosses actually are um but that's kind of bananas to me that they would even uh be shooting for something like that man honestly uh okay let's talk about everyone's favorite game mode and of course i'm lying everyone's least favorite game mode actually i mean i shouldn't say it some people do like alliance war all right but it's not that many oh oh there it is actually check it out i'm assigned to bg1 oh man if i uh if i if i still clicked on the wrong battle group after all that that'd be pretty bad but um alliance war so alliance war they actually spend a lot of time in the in the post talking about the current alliance war situation and i'm gonna skip over uh almost all of that because, honestly, man, Alliance War, I, 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 I like competitive modes in games. You know, in past games that I've played, I, I kind of always uh, steered more towards the PvP side of things. Speaking of MMOs, when I played World of Warcraft, it was all about PvP. I, I hardly did any raiding. Actually, some of it was kind of cool. But anyway, <laughs> I, was, I was definitely more focused on PvP. The only other game that I've, I've played even a little bit in the past, like, I don't know, six months or so, is Dota 2, which is exclusively a PvP game. <laughs> like, I'm all about PvP, but Alliance Wars, it just doesn't hit the mark for me. And some of the things they talk about for Current War, they're kind of just talking about it because... Well, they did put a lot of work into it before this roadmap, and that's kind of what they say. Is 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 uh, you know they understand that war is not uh, it's not it's not a good game mode <laughs> to put it frankly, man. It's just not like I understand that some people like it, but I guarantee if Kabam went back to the drawing board and reworked war from the ground up, those same people who like war today are going to like war even more in the future. I can I could almost guarantee it. And that's kind of what Kabam is saying. They they talk about some of the changes that they're making for this season. They talk about reward updates and, you know, attack tactics and stuff like that to counter the defensive tactics and all that. But at the moment it's 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 kind of like them saying, "Hey, we're going to slap you in the face and here's why we're doing it." Like I I I just I'm going to skip past it. So, the future war though sounds cool. So, they finally acknowledge and say they're going to redesign war from the ground up. They realize, like I said, it's, it's, just not, it's just not working out. And it's kind of the same conclusion that I came to, uh, I think it was back in November, when I made my uh, Alliance War overhaul video, when I just said, Dude, it's, it's, it's like impossible, man. It's, it, it's so hard with the current format just to make some changes. You can't add anything on top of war. It's, it's, it's making it worse as time goes on. Even for the people who like war today, a lot of them agree that defensive tactics were not really a good addition to it, you know? Um, so they're going to be redesigning war from the ground up, which super happy to, to see. Uh, they didn't really go into too many details because I think they kind of just started this process of, of redesigning war from the ground up um they did mention a couple things though one is individual and alliance based progression even when losing so um I, the simplest way i can think about this is to have some sort of alliance war experience bar <laughs> that fills up when uh when when going through alliance wars or something like that but then they also talk about uh, if we click on these nodes here, they, they talk about creating tools for alliances to craft challenges for one another. And when I see that, that makes me think like, okay, what does that mean? Are you going to be unlocking different nodes um, to, to use an alliance war or something like that? Is that, is that how this is going to go? Uh, what does progression mean in terms of alliance war? Um, is it just a visual kind of cosmetic type thing or... 
Is there more to it than that? Will you actually be able to unlock nodes or unlock different setups or, or what? I don't know. Um, but they, they do say, you know, craft challenges for one another. And that kind of goes... Uh, brings me back to the Alliance quest thing, with the, the choose-your-own-adventure thing. I, the, the one thing that I am a little bit concerned about when hearing this type of thing is it, it, uh, it, it might create more work. Like They're doing a lot in this game right now to try to reduce the, the, the stress that officers go through instead of having you know, uh, spreadsheets they need to be filled out and stuff like that if everyone could just put their their defenders here and, like I said, eventually they're going to be able to assign paths in-game and, and have, you know, um, defensive setups and stuff like that. They're doing a lot to, to kind of reduce that overall uh, workload on the officers especially. But is that just going to be recreated when alliances are kind of creating and crafting these challenges for other alliances. I don't know, man. It could be really cool, but it's hard for me to get uh, super excited about that right now. Uh, I'm just excited that they are going to be redesigning War from the Ground Up. So uh, I feel like anything is, is going to be better than the current state of Alliance Wars for me personally. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, uh, and I can't stress it enough. I'm, I'm not opposed to... Um, you know, uh, competitive environments. Uh, as, in fact, I really want a smaller scale PvP mode in MCOC still. <laughs> Something that I've wanted forever, basically. Um, but just this this mode, this is not it, man. This is not, this is not what I'm looking for. Uh, and then finally, last but not least, uh, the help all is finally coming uh, in September. They, they did give a date for that one. Again, some of these other things, if they gave dates, I might have missed them. But the two most important dates, I would say, Help All in September, and then the Alliance uh, Energy Update with the 45-minute timers, the 6 energy cap, and starting with 4 energy, that's going to be in July, which is... Uh, and I don't know, man. I don't know if that's going to be next AQ cycle or not, because we're only two days out from July. So, yeah. But uh, exciting stuff, man. I would say really good update overall. Um, like I said, it's still hard for me to visualize what war is going to be. It's hard for me to visualize what raid bosses are, are going to be. But uh, it's exciting. It's, it's definitely different than just, hey, we're going to call this season 20 and there's going to be two different nodes here. Like, no, they're, they're actually putting the work in to, to make this stuff uh exciting and have it be some real change in the game and that's cool man so uh yeah excited to see how all that stuff's gonna look in the future but for now that is gonna do it for this video guys like i said i'll be back home uh by the end of the week hopefully <laughs> it's a long drive man it's gonna be uh you know 2500 mile drive again oh, not looking forward to it but uh when i do get home Lots of exciting things, lots of uh, day streams and abyss, probably, and other things to talk about. So, yeah, uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care. Why does that never stop it when I hit the button?